In today's video, I'm checking out my very first Yamaha Revstar. This is the Yamaha Revstar Element RSE20L, L for lefty, but you can also, of course, get this in right-handed. Firstly, a massive thank you to Sky Music for the loan of this. I don't get to keep it, nor are they paying me to make this video. All thoughts about this will be my own, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. You're about to hear this in the context of a jam track. All the new rhythm parts were cut using the clean channel of my artist Tweet Tone, and then I'm using the drive channel of the amp for all the solo stuff. It's a great sounding guitar. Keep an eye on all the annotations on screen so you can tell if I'm using the push-pull pot in the up position or in the down position. If you want to check this out, I'll link it below. Let's get into it. Here's the guitar up close. Now, one of the first things I noticed when I took this out of the box was how light it is. It comes in at 3.2 kilograms or seven pounds. So it's nice and comfortable when it comes to its weight. And they've done this by chambering the body underneath the actual top. Now, this isn't a hollow body guitar. It's a solid body technically, but there are some routed out sections making it lighter than normal. This Yamaha Revstar is black on both the front and the back, which means it's a highly reflective guitar to try and film, but it looks really cool in person. And I love the two stripes running down the middle here. This is a gloss polyurethane finish. This Yamaha Revstar RSC20 is loaded with 22 medium jumbo frets, and they feel really slinky under the fingers. We also get a rosewood fingerboard with little dot inlays. We get a 12 inch fretboard radius and we get a 24.75 inch scale length. This Yamaha Revstar comes with a set neck design and a really nice satin neck, which has a little bit of a chunk to it, but not too much. I think this will suit most players. Yamaha have loaded these with Alnico 5 humbucker pickups. We get the VH3N humbucker in the neck and the VH3B humbucker in the bridge. This Revstar is loaded with a three-way toggle switch, a volume control, and a tone control. Now this tone control is a two-way push-pull pot. In the down position, you're getting the regular humbucker tones. In the up position, you're getting what they call the dry switch technology, which adds a high-pass filter to the sound, giving you almost a single coil tone, but without any buzz. It works really well, and I'll showcase that in the video. Let's kick it off with some clean tones. We're gonna to start in regular humbucker mode. So the push-pull pot will be in the down position to begin with and then I'll show you the difference. We're plugged into the Artist Tweet Tone 20R on the clean channel. This is neck pickup. This is a great guitar for playing rhythm. The chime on the top end is beautiful. Here we go. Beautiful. Now in the high pass filter mode, so this dry switch in the up position, this basically shaves off the low end, but you don't get any buzz like you would on a coil tap mode. It's pretty cool. Here we go. And back down for reference. Beautiful. Over to both pickups. Push, 
push pull in the up position. This gives you that really spanky sound. Great for playing blues, country, all that sort of stuff. Back down. Yeah, all right. Over to bridge pickup with the push pull in the down position, so the normal mode. And in the up position. It feels great to play. There's something sort of slinky about the guitar under the fingers. I really like it. Let's try some dirty tones now. And I'm over to the drive channel of the Artist Tweet Tone 20. The cool thing about this drive channel it's way more like Marshall than it is any tweet amplifier. So we're going to start on bridge pickup. Here we go. Push pull in the up position. It's great not having any bars, that's awesome. And back down. Over to both pickups. Push pull in the up position, which is going to clean up that low end. All right. Over to neck pick up for some blues, but I'm going to start with the volume control down to show you how much it cleans up. A little bit more. All the way up. Yeah. Push pull in the up position. And lastly, over to a high gain mid scoop sound. I'm going to showcase the push pull control because I think this is where it shines the most. It gives you more clarity and cut. So this is bridge pickup. Sustains off the charts, up position. <laughs> yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. I'm going to give you my thoughts about playing a Yamaha Revstar for the very first time. So a huge thanks again to Sky Music for the loan of this. If you want to check it out, I'll link to everywhere down in the description below. 
The first thing that I loved about this was how nice the neck felt in the hand. It feels very familiar. It's a nice comfortable guitar, either standing or sitting down, which is always a good thing. But just the overall finish on the neck feels great. It really does. I like the fact they've sort of packed the guitar's stock with elixirs. It gives it this really slinky feel that you don't get from a lot of guitars. And I haven't played elixirs for a long time, but it just feels really easy to play. So that's always a good thing. I think the star of the show here is the humbuckers. Man, these, these are fantastic. I don't know what to say about them other than they've got lots of clarity, not too much low end or anything like that. So they still sound great, dirty or clean. And then you've got this great push-pull switch, which actually works. It's far more usable than anything I've used from other brands. So I'm gonna give the big thumbs up to this guitar overall with a couple of slight exceptions. One, the tuning stability hasn't been great on this. I had to tune up a lot. I think the intonation might be out just straight out of the box. No big deal there, but I haven't replaced the strings or done anything to this, but that's probably my only slight criticism. The G string just kept going out over and over again, but it's probably something that can be easily remedied but man the feel of this guitar is good it's nice and comfortable black guitars are like impossible to film when you're doing these kind of videos because the studio lights even if the lights aren't pointing towards the guitar it's really hard to film these but i actually really like the finish on it as well the high gloss body with the satin neck looks really beautiful i don't really have any complaints about it in terms of its construction feel or its simplicity is another thing that i really like about it a three-way toggle switch one push pull pot that's it. This is a great guitar. So if you're in the market for one of these, I can really recommend them. My only small critique is, I don't think the tuning stability is as good as other guitars that I've played, but it could just be this one, or it could be just the fact the nut needs a little bit of a file. Probably something simple like that. But man, what a beautiful guitar. Thanks again for watching. Let us know what you think. Leave a thumbs up. Catch you soon. See ya.